Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem 1471, the k strongest values in an array. Given an array of integers r and the integer k, a value of r of i is said to be stronger than the value of r of j if absolute difference of r of i minus m is greater than absolute difference of r of j minus m, where m is the median of the array. And if in R of i, absolute difference of R of i minus m and R of i j of minus m is equals, in that case, R of i is said to be stronger than only R of j if R of i is greater than R of j. And we have to return k those elements from the strongest array. So median definition is defined here. So median is a middle uh, value in a ordered integer list. More formally, if the length of the list is n, the median is uh, the element in position of n minus 1 by 2 index value from the array. So for getting median, first we have to sort the array and then get the n minus n minus 1 by 2 index value. So for example, it given here array, array 6 minus 3, 7, 2 and 11. So total five elements. If we sort this, then we will get minus three, then two, then six, then seven, then eleven. So index five by minus one by two is two. So at index two, we will get six. So six is the median of this array. Similarly, for this, if we do the sorted array will be minus seven, then three, then seventeen, then twenty-two. So three is the median of this array. So for example, one we have this array. Let me explain this in bit detail here in the editor. So uh, first uh, we will have the example one here where array is one, two, three, four, five and we have to pick two values. So first in we will sort the array. So once we sort the array, one, two, three, four, five, this array is already sorted in this case and we will get the median. So median is uh, r of index value of n minus 1 divided by 2, so which is 3. And now we will check the absolute values of all r of i. So we have 1, 1 minus 3, absolute value is 2. Then we have another number which is 2 minus absolute median m3 is uh, equals to 1 then we have 3 minus 3 which is equals to 0 after that we will get uh, get 4 minus 3 4 minus 3 which is 1 again and then we will have last value 5 minus 3 which is 2 so the maximum values if we sort these numbers so these numbers will be in, a in the form of a strongest like first 5 then 1 because 5 and 1 are equal but we will take the 5 is first because the value of array of i we have to take the greater one so 5 1 then we will get 4 then 2 then 3 so this is our strongest array based on the rules given in the problem strongest array. So now we have to return the two elements top two elements from this. So uh, so top two element from this. So we will take the k elements which is 2 which is equals to only 5 and 1. So let us see the output of this example 1 what is is correct 5 and 1. So this is the basic idea you must have got like we will do first sort the array then we will get the median and after that we have to calculate the difference absolute difference of median and the element and then order in that way. So for them we have to order in the strongest way basically maximum difference should be on the top. So you must have got of idea maximum difference we have to sort them in a prioritize them so we will use the max heap so max heap to make in the order and in Java for max heap we will use priority queue. Okay, queue 
and we have to pass that. Let's just jump on the implementation. So for implementation, as I mentioned, the step first, we will sort the array, array start sort array. Once we sorted array, we will get the median m is equal to which is array of n minus 1 divided by 2. So where n is here length of array. So for getting length of array, array dot length. So this is here we will get the median. Now we need a priority queue. We will declare the priority queue. Priority queue integer type data we are adding in priority queue and new priority priority queue. So here now we have to add the element in a custom way sort them in a custom way so custom so we will add the custom comparator let's say we get two element of a and v first we will check their absolute difference with the medium if math dot absolute difference minus m of a is equals to math dot absolute difference of b minus m in that case we just compare b minus a otherwise we will compare math dot absolute difference of b minus m minus math dot actually difference of a minus m so this is our custom comparator we will use to sort our priority queue so now once we done with the initialization of priority queue we will have to fill the all the elements in the priority queue so this is into well in the array we will add in the priority queue so pq dot add well so once we added a well, we need to result return the result in the array of k element first k strongest element. So this is result is equal to new int of k and then we will just simply use the for loop int i is equal to 0 and i less than k i plus plus and here result of i is equal to pq dot pole. And in the end, we have to return this result array. So this is here. So let's compile our code first. Whether it is compiling, it is compiled, and we got the correct answer for the first example. Let's run other examples in a custom test case mode. So the second here, custom test cases. So this is two and uh, third test case with k value 5 and with uh, here and the example 4 with k value 3 so here it is example 4 with k 3 and the last example is 5 which is k is 2 for which k is 2 so here we will let's run again to all the ex examples whether it is getting passed or not now check the diff yes it is getting passed let's submit our solution so it is going on and it is accepted so the time complexity of this solution is if you carefully see we are doing sorting the element so which is n log n and here we are filling the all the elements in the priority which is uh, n and then comparing internally so it is also n log n and here just k so its overall time complexity of our code is o of n log n where n where n is array dot length so this is the way so this is a priority queue based solution simple if you observe another way like we have already array is sorted and we know the median then we can also achieve the k strongest elements using the two pointer approach so let's me start implementation for two pointer approach here so i will take this in a separate section so this will be the method definition again and i will start implementation let me comment out this priority key based solution here and this will go here uh, this should be it should closing here okay that should okay so in this case again we will do the same uh, let's take the these two line of code from the priority because we have to sort the array and get the median so here as well 
once we got this we will start two pointer like left which is from 0 into right which is from array dot length minus 1 and we will uh, take a index pointer and we will run while index is less than k we will check if so the given condition if so as we know array is sorted from increasing to like increasing to decreasing order so here we will compare the values and the if m minus if m minus array of left value is greater than if m minus array of is greater than array of right minus m median in that case we will take so we have to again define the result array into result array here to return in the result and is equal to new int of k size is k and we will fill this in the result array with index plus plus is equals to it will be array of left plus plus otherwise else case this will be result of result of index plus plus which is equals to air of right pointer minus minus we will decrease that pointer so this is the we are getting k element based on the condition now we will return the result so this is here return let us try to compile our this second two pointer base approach uh, it is compiling oh there is a uh -huh, IGHT. okay again this will be array g h t array so this should be r i g h t spelling mistake here so let us compile it again mm, it is going on and it should be a result not result it should be a result okay it is judging now oh index we have to index initialize the index the biggest mistake here so this is okay so now it should compile and run the test cases is it judging and it is getting and we are getting correct so let's submit this solution two pointer based solution so it is it is it is accepted so the time complexity of this solution is also the same as of the priority key base because we, we are again doing the sorting here so it is n log n where n is a number of elements in array so that's it thank you if you like my solution please hit the like button and subscribe to the my channel and hit the bell icon for the future upcoming videos